Hello, this is uh, Javier Pena, where I'm coming to y'all from uh, beautiful San Antonio, Texas, where the temperature is about 100 degrees, so that's why I'm enjoying a cold beer right now. You all are the heroes out there. I know you all are sacrificing. You're doing a great job. Thank you. You're out there uh, helping human beings. So from our part, thank you for the great job that you all are doing. When uh, we started going after Pablo Escobar, and like some of y'all, I mean, there was a lot of times, you know, that we wanted to quit, that we wanted to give up, but we never did. It was just that sacrifice and uh, that tenacity where you got to go back, you cannot give up because, like I said, there are evils in the world and we've experienced it. And again, to you all, thank you all for uh, being out there helping human beings. We're going through a rough time right now with uh, this uh, pandemic where, uh, you know, we were telling people, please follow the guidelines, follow the safety rules. You know what, and, and you know, everybody knows, we're all gonna, you know, it's gonna get back to normal again. We're all gonna go back to our, our lives, our, you know, but right now we are, you know, we are sacrificing. So, uh, and hopefully once we get back to uh, normal, we'll be addressing y'all in person. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to see y'all in person uh, pretty soon. Hi. I'm Steve Murphy coming to you from the beautiful Washington, D.C. area. I personally have a vested interest in what you're doing today, battling this COVID-19 virus. My wife, Connie, she's a 46-year veteran, registered nurse. I can't tell you how much I worry about her. We've been married for almost 36 years now. I think I'm getting a taste of my own medicine of what she went through when I was out doing my job as a DEA agent. Our oldest son, Josh, is an orthopedic surgeon with Children's Hospital of Atlanta. He's on the front lines every day working with his colleagues trying to find a cure for this virus. Our youngest daughter Mandy is a medical technician at a local orthopedic group here in Northern Virginia where they're seeing patients on a daily basis. Patients that come in with symptoms not knowing if they have the virus or not, but they still come into the office where they potentially expose others to the virus. I worry about my family every day, just like your family's worrying about you. If, it's, if it wasn't for what you're doing, what would we do? You know, did Javier and I get discouraged when we were going after Escobar and being away from our families for 18 months? You know, we did. That's the truth. But then we would see operations and where some of our friends, Columbia National Police officers, were killed by Escobar and his henchmen. And that would renew our resolve to get back out there and do our job. You know, when I get to feeling sorry for myself, my family sticks right beside me and they look at me and they tell, tell me, suck it up, cupcake, get back to work. And that's what we did. And because of that tenacity, because of the, the traits that we have, we reached a successful, a successful conclusion. And the traits that we use are the same traits that you have in this being the frontline soldiers of this current battle. So God bless you for everything you do. If nothing else, we hope that today we encourage you a little bit to continue to focus on that mission, to never give up, to maintain that perseverance to get the job done. We know you're making sacrifices and we know your family's making those sac same sacrifices. You know, there's a word that gets thrown around a lot these days and that's the word hero. After Narcos came out, people refer to Javier and I as heroes. That's a lot better than what a lot of the names we've been called over the years, but we don't subscribe to it. We were just doing our job as two professional law enforcement officers. And now people are calling you heroes because you're the frontline soldiers. Absolutely, you are heroes. You know, the Bible in John 15, 13 says, No greater love hath any man than he lay down his life for another. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, that you have to make the ultimate sacrifice. But the truth is, maybe we're all our heroes. You should wear that as a, as a badge of honor. We're proud of you. The, the words thank you don't seem strong enough, but from Javier and I both, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for what you're doing. We're there in your corner. We support you all the way. If there's anything we can do to help, please don't hesitate to get a hold of us. We hope to have the opportunity to meet you in person soon and shake your hand. God bless.